Of all the darkness thrust upon us by this pandemic, Meg Koch does her best every day to see the light. It's a quiet place. Meg oversees the Virginia Thurston Healing Garden. She knows how hard this pandemic has been for patients battling cancer. Now their fears of, you know, contracting the disease are really significant and the potential for it to be life threatening is very serious. Because of COVID, in-person therapy sessions here have stopped. It's just not safe. As a result, cancer support groups across the nation are being hosted on Zoom. Welcome to the third session of mindfulness training. While it's not the same, Checking therapy session participation week, here has for tripled. For people who are near end of life and when they normally would lose their friends and their support therapists here, they too can, you know, just open up that laptop and there it is. But that companionship, the ability for people who are fighting for their lives to just come here, sit and hold hands is missing. Some people, they go to chemotherapy alone. They drive in alone. They go through the appointment alone. They go home and feel sick alone. Something Ruth Silman knows all too well. It's been a challenge. I mean, the only place that I go is to the hospital. Squamous cell carcinoma of the tongue has stolen some of Ruth Silman's speech. I've had two tongue surgeries. With her immune system compromised from chemotherapy, she carries around the constant concern of catching COVID. You just have to be careful and my whole family is very careful. For her, answering that question, how are you doing, just depends on the day. I'm alive. I can breathe. Um, so today, today's good. Some days my body hurts and um, I don't have a lot of energy and it's not so good, but today's a good day. Ruth's prognosis is not great, but she takes joy in little things, like time with her family. Today's a good day. I was able to go cross country skiing for a short time. We are, I think, more aware of the fragility of life, um, of the beauty of human kindness and connection. Even in a year like this, a chance to look around and be grateful. I'm Chris Conti.